Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Cook. Today's video is about the latest release of Linux Mint, which is Linux Mint 20 and it's codenamed Uliana. This particular release is a long term release, so you will be having support updates till 2025 for next 5 years. That is a great news. So I had downloaded this ISO few days ago, didn't get much time. So today finally I've decided to install it and uh, I have installed it on my uh, main machine and I'll be using it and testing it further for the stability and other things, what is missing, what is there. But uh, the current things that I can see is the installation was as usual super simple and super smooth there were no glitches or any issues while installing and as soon as you install you will be greeted with the Linux Mint welcome screen. So keep in mind that this is still a beta release so there will be few updates and other things. I have already run my update manager after I had installed it, so many things which were to be updated are already update, updated. If you are going to install it, you should do it as the first thing. So if any glitches that would have been there would be removed immediately from your system. So as usual, I have here my favorite XFCE edition and it looks super nice. Of course, the default color scheme is not the dark one. I have changed it to the dark one. You can go to the settings and change it to the dark one. So let's have a look what do you get when you install it by default. You get your Firefox web browser. Let's launch it and see what we get over here. Yes, one more interesting thing was my Wi-Fi was working by default I didn't had to do anything so it seems most of the cards will be recognized and you should not have any problems with this so okay so let us see what is the version of Firefox we have over here to help about Firefox so you have Firefox 77.01 seems to be quite latest though I have not checked it against the Firefox website but this is good enough for the time being. Next, we have in our utilities, the basically what you'll be looking for is your office application. We have LibreOffice in this and if we look at it, what do we have? LibreOffice help route. So it is 6.4.32. So you have LibreOffice, the whole suit is there. Then, okay, so let us see what else is there. In graphics, there wasn't much. So I've installed Jim, Blender and Inkscape. So Inkscape, let's see what version Inkscape we have. Inkscape we have 0.92. It's supposed to be the stable version it seems. But let me check on the website, Inkscape 1.0 is available, so I hope this will be available soon in the repositories. Then I downloaded Blender again over here from the repositories, it is version 2.82 alpha. And on Blender's website, you have 2.83. Okay, that is also quite cool because earlier you did not have any direct way to get Blender. You had to either use it from the website, the zip, or you had to use the flat pack or something like that. So it is good that we have 2.8 series now from the repositories. What else we have? Let us have a look at it. So, so 
So much of the things seems to be updated in the repositories now. And on the command line or on the graphical, non-graphical side, we have, uh, let's see what bash we have. So you have bash 5.0.16, you have kernel 5.4 series, GCC, you have GCC. Again, this is again from the Ubuntu branch and finally let's see what Python we have. So you have both Python 2 and Python 3 over here. The actual ones are 2.7 and 3.8. So you can use both the Python versions. Okay, so overall this looks stable and good enough to start using. I hope you people will download it and you'll also start using Linux Mint. Thanks for watching this video. We'll meet in the next video for further updates.